Maybe you accomplished something on your bucket list and now you're ready to take on the world, but no, pause. I just quit smoking, how do I start swimming? Great question by Liz from YouTube. First of all, congrats on quitting smoking. That must be really, really challenging. And so for anyone who is trying to change your habit, behavior change is really, really difficult. So here's what I have to say about someone who's just trying to get into swimming for the first time, or maybe they're making a comeback. It's really important that you start small. A lot of people try and bite off more than they can chew. You're so excited, you have all this motivation. Maybe you accomplish something on your bucket list and now you're ready to take on the world. But no, pause, take a deep breath. You need to start small. That might mean only taking two lengths of the pool and that's the entire workout. The next time you swim, you take three lengths. Then you do four lengths, five lengths. And after two or three weeks, now you're doing 10 or 12 lengths and you're building into a fully structured workout. If you guys are looking for a way to structure your time in the water, if you're looking for that guidance, so that way the plan is already built for you. You don't have to think when you go to the pool, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app because we can deliver a personalized training program just for you. One of my favorites is the Couch to 1K for our beginner swimmers. We also have technique training programs in there as well, but it's really important that you have some kind of structure, just like you quit smoking, just like you're losing weight, any other goal or skill that you're trying to achieve, you need to have a plan. That is the most important thing. And any good plan is going to do two things for you. It's going to be personalized to you. So that way my plan is different than your plan is different than Jerry. Who's Jerry? Different than anyone else's plan. It's really personalized to you. And then the second thing is really the first thing, but having a starting point that is based on your current ability level. And that's what personalization is all about. So if you just quit smoking, if you're just trying to start swimming, or maybe you're making a comeback, you're in a different spot. And that's why it's so important to have a consistent plan that works towards a realistic goal. So that realistic goal is essentially a smart goal. It's specific, measurable, attainable, time-bound, and it's results-oriented. It's relevant to whatever your goal is. So as long as you have a smart goal in mind and you have a plan, you can make progress. But like I mentioned in the beginning, the biggest mistake that you can make is starting out too much too soon. You gotta be patient and you have to work your way up. This is a long game, just like anything with your health. It's not going to happen overnight. And with your health, it's all about longevity, continuing, being consistent, and working towards a specific goal. Like I mentioned, check out the My Swim Pro app. Let me know what questions you have down below, and on to the next one. Happy swimming!